What's up, friends? Joey the Truth Wagner with you. Welcome into the Truth Serum. The Steelers lost today to the San Francisco 49ers, 24 to 20. And it is a post-game rant. But before I get started, because I don't know if I'll stop, this rant is being sponsored to you by SeatGeek. If you want to get great tickets for a great price, then SeatGeek is the place for you. Use the code Joey Wagner. You'll get 20 bucks off of your order. It's in the description, too. But anyway. The Steelers lost today to the 49ers 24-20. The Steelers are 0-3 now to start the year losing again and falling just short in the first NFL start of Mason Rudolph. But there's something I want to talk about, specifically. I've been noticing this trend now for three years, and it's not getting any better. Not getting any better. In three years since I've started this series called The Truth Serum, the Steelers coaching isn't getting better. I think it's getting worse as time goes on. I mean, did you see that first half? Did you see the first half of the Steeler game? Steelers forced four turnovers on defense in the first half and were only leading 6-3 to three over the 49ers because because I think Mike Tomlin saw a ghost all first half long. Mike Tomlin is the man who always says not to live in your fears and how the Steelers don't live in their fears. That was a bunch of hooey today. That was a bunch of hooey. I've never seen him so terrified in my life as in the first half of this game today. The Steelers' offense was a high school offense. They didn't even trust Mason Rudolph throwing the football. 8 for 15, 40 yards and a half? Not a typo. 40 yards. 40 yards. Who in the world was running that offense? Mason Rudolph played last week against the Seahawks, came right in, was throwing dimes all over the place. And today, in the first half, you don't even let him throw the football except for screens and check downs of the running backs? 8 for 15 for 40 yards and a half? Really? That, that's just bad coaching. The play calling was a mess. The running game wasn't successful, and they weren't even trying to throw the football down the field in the first half. 40 yards passing. Did you see the second half? When they let Mason throw the ball down the field, the Steelers' offense moved a little bit. 76-yard touchdown to Juju. Why? He threw the ball down the field. The 39-yard touchdown to Deontay Johnson. Why did that happen? Oh, he threw the ball down the field. The play calling was as bad as I've seen by an offensive coordinator in Randy Finkner. And you know that I'm not a fan of this coaching staff. I'm not. For three years, I think they're one of the worst coaching staffs in the NFL. Really do. Really do. Finkner only got the offensive coordinator job because he was Ben's buddy. And the defensive coordinator, Keith Butler, he's not running that defense. It's Mike Tomlin that's running that defense. Keith Butler is only defensive coordinator in title, not in job responsibility. He's a glorified linebackers coach. But in enough of that, and the one thing that made no sense to me during the Steeler game was a play in the second quarter where the San Francisco 49ers could have possibly had a 52-yard gain on a completion. 
the pass was called incomplete, but when I looked at the replay, to me, according to my interpretation of the catch rule, it was a catch, then a fumble, and a recovery. So I thought it was a catch. Referees called it incomplete. But after the play, Mike Tomlin called a timeout. To what, let Kyle Shanahan get more time to look at it, to challenge it, to overturn it, and turn an incompletion into a 52-yard game? That's horrible management. Terrible clock management. You don't call a timeout there. You don't give them any more time than they need to review a possible 52-yard game. I even brought it up when I was calling the game. The management, the Steelers said that they would have Mike Tomlin improve this during the regular season. He specifically hired someone on his staff to do this, and it's not working. The play calling by Randy Finkner is not working. Honest to goodness, I looked on the Steelers' sideline in the, in the first half. On the sideline, I thought I saw Tomlin with his tail between his legs in the fetal position. He was so scared. I guarantee Finkner was that way up in the press box calling the plays. If you want Mason Rudolph to develop and play well and win football games, let the kid play. Let him play. He has talent. Let him sling it. He was a great high school quarterback. He was a great college quarterback. Why? He threw the ball down the field. I'm just saying, Steelers, you're 0-3. You might be terrible this season. Probably not going to make the playoffs. You might be a dumpster fire. But at least, don't live in your fears and make play calls that are going to work and throw the ball with Mason Rudolph down the field. Let him develop. Please let him develop. And I've had about enough of this coaching staff. I've been saying it for three years. This was one of the worst games in the first half that I've seen in a long time by an offensive coordinator. Get Randy Finkner on the hot seat immediately. Get, a, get him in the car seat. Hit the eject button. This coaching staff, I'm out. I was out three years ago when they were winning 11 games and making the playoffs. If I was out then, I'm certainly out now. I'm out now. I'm out. Wave Finkner goodbye. Give Tomlin the pink slip. The mismanagement of timeouts, challenges, and clocks. Looking like zombies on the West Coast. Making play calls like it's high school and middle school football. I'm out. I'm out. All I want to do is do the play-by-play -play for a Steelers Super Bowl win. That's all I want to do with you guys. But with this staff, it's not going to happen. I'm out. And the Steelers are 0-3, and next Monday they play a team that is somehow worse than them, and that's the 0-3 Bengals. Maybe we can win that on Monday night. Whew. A rant indeed. As always, everybody, please click that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments in the comments section. I'll see you tomorrow night for some football. And from the Truth Serum, Joey the Truth Wagner, signing up.